welcome back to The Contour, your QGIS guide. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to georeference a topo map and digitize its feature, which you can apply also on scan maps. If this is your first time to watch my video, I encourage you to watch my previous videos. So let's begin. In this tutorial, you will need the ADM1 or provincial boundary of the Philippines and the topo map that you want to georeference and digitize. If you need this data, I provided the link below where you can download it. You can see from my screen that I already loaded the provincial boundary of the Philippines. If you need to load the provincial boundary, you can simply drag the .shp file to your QGIS. And I got here a topo map of Maria Aurora a town from Aurora province as our example. Come on, let's georeference it and digitize some of its features. Now let's close this window and go to our QGIS. So let's georeference first our topo map by going to raster, click georeferencer. Here, to load the topo map or raster data, you can go to File and click Open Raster, or you can use the shortcut button here. Now let's click the shortcut button. Now navigate to the folder where you saved the file. Now, in my case, I saved it on my topo map folder. Click it, and then let's change the file type here, and let's view all the files within that folder. Now let's click all files here. Now I can see the topo map as mariaaurora.jpg. Now let's click that and open. To georeference our topo map, we need to locate two things. The grid coordinates or longitude and latitude which are found typically on map corners at the meeting point of the longitude and latitude. Now let's zoom in our topo map so we can check the coordinates. Alright, you can see at the bottom here we have the longitude and the latitude here. The longitude going to this direction and the latitude going up. By having the coordinates at the corner we can assume that the meeting point of the longitude and latitude is this corner. Now let's locate the other coordinates. Okay, we have 50 minutes here. So this should be 15 degrees and 50 minutes. Now let's move here. Okay, you can see here that there is a cross sign indicating the meeting point of the longitude and latitude. We can use this as our reference. Now let's start encoding the coordinates. But before we encode the coordinates, we need to convert it first to decimal degrees. Use the converter that I provided from our previous tutorial. Or you can download it using the link below. Now let's use the first point here. Let's zoom in. So we have earlier uh, 15 degrees and 50 minutes for the latitude. And for the longitude, we have um, 1 to 1 degrees and 25 minutes. Now let's locate the meeting point of these two coordinates we have here the cross sign now let's convert it using the spreadsheet you can see here I have already encoded uh, the longitude and latitude uh, coordinates 1 to 1 25 uh, 15 and 50 now I got here 15.83 for the latitude and 1 to 1.41 for the longitude. Now let's add this to our map. Let's go back. 
and to add the coordinates or the control point we can use the button here this one click it and zoom in to the cross sign and locate the middle of it click it here and then this window will appear let's encode the x or the longitude coordinates here we have 1 to 1 and 41 1 to 1 dot 41 6 and uh, for the latitude we have 15 point 30 33 and click OK now you have the point here and you can see from the GCP or control point table that we already added the point or the coordinates for this particular point now go ahead and do the same process for other points I encoded my points earlier so let me just load this so you can see it now let's click this button to load the control points and I got here the GCP points click that and click open now once you're finished uh, encoding the points you can save it by clicking the button here and then upload it later like what I just uh, did and then let's zoom out to see the points now the points are here and we are ready for georeferencing but when you do this again make sure that you will increase the accuracy by maintaining the zero values here all right now let's process this but before processing we have to check the setting first here and make sure the transformation type is set to linear because we want to keep the map as uh, flat and set the resampling method to nearest neighbor and set the target SRS to WGS84 or EPSG4326 and click OK and then make sure that you will save the output raster I'll save it on my topo map folder as uh, Maria Aurora uh, modified that thief and click save if you want to save the GCP points that you made earlier you can enable this uh, option here to save it now let's click OK and go back to our georeferencer now let's start georeferencing our map by clicking the button here let's click it all right now let's close this window and check the output from our folder let's close this and let's go to my top map folder now I got here the Maria Aurora modified um, that tip file or the georeference uh, top map now let's load this in QGIS so we can check if we did the right process. Now let's uh, click our georeference um, topo map and drag to our QGIS. And let's minimize this. Now you can see um, the small map here. Uh, let's uh, zoom in to the layer. Uh, right click, click zoom to layer. Now I got the top of map here uh, in Aurora uh, province now let's change the PHL ADM1 um, symbology by removing the fill style and changing it to no brush so we can have the lines only and apply and click OK now let's move the Aurora uh, top of map below there you go now we have um, the georeference uh, topo map you can see here that there is a slight difference in provincial boundary as shown by uh, 
ADM1 and the topo map that we just uh, digitized. Uh, this is probably because of uh, two things. The ADM1 file is not the official copy of the Philippines uh, provincial boundary. And second, the datum used when these two layers were created is probably not uh, the same. Now let's start digitizing some features of this uh, topo map. 